Honolulu police report a slight drop in car thefts on Oahu. So far this year, 1,600 cars were stolen, 100 less than during the same time last year. But even one car is too many if you're the victim. KITV 4's Aali'i Duklo spoke with one family whose truck was stolen, a truck with sentimental value. It was supposed to be a gift for Father's Day and their dad's 70th birthday. The sisters took the truck here to Mako Auto Body in Pearl City on Tuesday for a paint job. Hours later, it was stolen in broad daylight. I was completely devastated. Um, you know, this truck has a history. Not only is the truck special to Martha Veloria and her family, it's also sentimental to Charlotte Hakikawa, whose husband Sai was the previous owner. After Sai passed away from cancer 11 years ago, Hakikawa sold it to her family friends, Veloria's parents. I knew that they would take care of the truck and, and enjoy it the way that Sai did. That was his baby. Um, having it heard that it was stolen was... Um, upsetting because it's like a piece of him. Even the truck itself, a 1992 Chevrolet 1500 454 SS, is considered something of a marvel nowadays. So it's not a truck that you see every day. Um, whenever I drive it, people stop me so they can buy it. Valoria is enlisted in the Coast Guard and was stationed back here at home in 2018. Since then, she and her father Afa spent thousands of dollars and hours refurbishing it. It was a way for me to connect with my dad. And Valoria knew the truck was a way for Hakikawa's son Jet to connect with his dad. Jet was just 10 years old when his father died. After we got it painted, we were going to um, surprise him and have him drive it around so he could be in his dad's truck, you know. Three other cars were stolen from Mako since its current owner took over the garage nine years ago. Surveillance footage shows this latest theft. A man breaking into the car as it was parked on the side of the road before the crew could start any work on it. Mako's owner tells me he spent about $70,000 on fencing, cameras and floodlights to protect his customers' cars. On top of that, he invested in complete garage keepers insurance coverage. Even though it's rare, you know, plan for the worst, hope for the best. So we're going to uh, work with our insurance company to make sure that the family is taken care of. Some help will be needed after police found the truck Thursday afternoon. While Valoria and her family are grateful the pickup was recovered, here's what it looks like now. Its passenger window and steering wheel broken. Its speakers, deck, original rims and new tires missing. No arrests have been made. And if you have any information, call Honolulu Police. Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.